It's my pleasure to bring a tribute in favor of Patrick Joshua, who has just passed on to be with the Lord. I first met Patrick Joshua sometime between 2003 and 2005 at Chennai, India, when we had a prayer initiative in that part of India. And my recollection of this great leader and intercessor was a man whom the Lord raised up to do a great work in the area of intercession in India. We had opportunity to sit back and compare notes between what God is doing in India and what God is doing in Africa and in Nigeria in particular. And it was quite an exciting thing to share notes and discuss with this fervent intercessor. I came out of that discussion with this impression that Patrick Joshua was a man whom God has chosen and sent to play a great role in India, to raise up other intercessors, to teach people how to pray and to bring about a synergy between prayer and missions. He was such a fervent Christian leader, very humble, very committed, very dedicated, and yet simple. And he did a great work, not only in India, but in other parts of the world, like moving in and out of United States, speaking to the Indian communities about what God was doing at home in India. Thereafter, I got to meet with Patrick Joshua at different fora at the United Nations Prayer Initiative, at other IPC conferences held in different parts of the world. And each time we met, we discussed and compared notes and had a time of fellowship together. There is no doubt that the church in India, especially the intercessory group, have lost a great leader in the person of Patrick Joshua. They will miss him there greatly. I want to encourage not only members of his family, but also the church in India, that they should take heart and that the mantle, the prayer mantle, this great intercessor has left behind, should be picked up by the younger generation and that they should continue the work and build, continue to build up a bridge between intercessors and the evangelistic and mission community. I want to encourage the intercessors globally who would miss the leadership, who would miss the presence of our, their brother. And I urge them to know that we all have a season a season when God gives us the opportunity to put in our best. This man has done his best and is going to be with the Lord. We all have a responsibility to put in our best, to raise up other intercessors, to intercede for the nations, to intercede for the church, and to pray that a revival will come in our nation and the nations of the world to the glory of the Almighty God. May God bless you all for listening.